the first step in debugging is to see if your VI has some syntax errors. If that is the case, then your run button would be broken. The broken run button indicates that your VI has syntax errors and it cannot be run. To fix those syntax errors, press the run broken run button. A dialog box will open. It will in the it has three sections. The first section called items and errors shows you the names of the VIs with errors, syntactical errors. When you select a certain VI, uh, the related errors will show up in the second part of this dialog box, which shows for the current VI the two errors and warnings. When you select a particular error, the details are shown in the third column. To see where the error is present, either you can double click the error name itself or you can press show error. When you press show error, a lab view opens the VI and shows you the part of the code that has error. In this case, this sub VI has some error in it. Let's go inside. Repeat the process. As you can see, it's stating that the divide function contains an unwired or a bad terminal. Let's investigate. Yes, indeed, the divide function input should have a second uh, input present. Since it is not, the lab you cannot execute the code. Once you fix it by providing it with a constant or a control, the run button becomes runnable again. One tool available to us for debugging is called breakpoint. You can place breakpoint on wires, sub VIs and functions extra. Suppose we place a breakpoint on this sub VI. Now as the one as the VI runs, if we if we run the VI it will pause at this breakpoint. At this point, we have several options. Either we can step into this sub VI. If we do that, we will go inside the VI or we can step over the VI, in which case the VI will run, but we will not go inside for debugging and it will return outside, proceed to the outside. Or we can just finish the block diagram, which will be, which means that uh, with the we will go to the end of this uh, uh, VI the code without uh, doing anything. So suppose we go inside this VI by stepping into the code pauses at the first function, and then it's waiting for us for further instructions. In this case, we can step over this compound arithmetic function since we cannot view its code, only stepping over is available. The code proceeds to the next function, which is divide. We can step over it, or we can just finish the block diagram. I'm going to finish the block diagram. The block diagram finishes. The VA closes and then we are back into the main VA. Another tool available for debugging in LabVIEW is probes. 
to set a probe to view the value of a wire we right click on the wire and select probe a probe window opens the probe says not executed since we have not executed the code since setting up the probe you can set up several probes at the same time now if we run the code you can view the values that have passed through the probe you can double click the probe in the probe watch window and the corresponding probe highlights in the main VA. Now if you place remove this these probes and reapply probe it will again say not executed since since the since we applied the probe the VA has not run to if you this is not what you want then you can turn on this option which is retain wire values if you turn it on run the VI once and now you place the probes the wires will retain its values it will cause an extra copy of data to be stored in the memory but once you place the probes the probes will show you the last value that has passed through that wire you cannot change the value of wires using the probes probes are only only for viewing not for modifying data another very useful tool for debugging is this bulb icon called highlight execution if you run the code normally the code runs very fast and you don't see anything happening or passing between these functions or VIs or indicators to make that happen turn this on run the VI you will notice two things number one the code is running very slow second is you can see these data bubbles flowing through the wires let me run it once more here are the data bubbles flowing through you can see what values are passing through the wires this can help you debug the code 